You've probably seen people using these fluid writer pens before, like in art videos on social media. These fluid writers are metal painting pens that have a little reservoir that can be filled with paint or ink, and they can be used to write or draw or touch up paint, and they can be a really fun tool to use for artwork. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use one of these fluid writer pens. So here's a fluid writer that I got from Amazon. It came with a cap and then this little cleaning tool that you can use to clean the inside of the pen tip, which as you can see is very tiny. There goes the cap. It's just the right size to get inside there and clean it. So this is the one I have. Again, it's from Amazon. I think it's the King Art brand and it's a 0.5 millimeter size, which is the most common size for these pens. Now these pens can be filled with many different things and used on many different surfaces. They say you can use them on fabric, wood, metal, paper, of course, but I'm gonna show you how to fill this pen with some liquid watercolor. So I have some Ecoline liquid watercolor here. What's handy is that these have a dropper inside. So the easiest way to fill a fluid writer is with a dropper. So if your ink or paint bottle already has a dropper, that's really handy. So I'm just going to fill this with liquid watercolor using the dropper. Just a few drops is enough to fill it. Whoops filled it too full now it's dropping out the bottom so that's something to watch out for try not to fill it too full or it will start dripping out the bottom but usually it should not drip like that it should only come out when you're using it on a surface so before this all drips out let me actually start writing with it so as you can see obviously because the paint was dripping out it's flowing well but if your pen wasn't flowing well after you filled it you can dip it into water. You can also use the little cleaning tool to probe inside the tip and get that paint flowing. So you can see that if you go back over lines with this pen while it's wet, it can puddle up like that, especially if you're using a very fluid paint like I am. I'm using this on a cold press Strathmore watercolor paper, which has a fairly smooth surface. And I found that it's easier to use this pen on a smoother surface instead of a rougher one. And it's better to use it with a light touch. So if you're very heavy handed and pressing really hard, it's actually gouging into the paper and it's really scratchy and yeah, that tip is just gouging into the paper and the ink isn't flowing because I'm pressing so hard. So if you have a very heavy hand, with this pen you really need to try to lighten up while I'm running out of ink. But you really need to use this with a light touch so that the ink can flow easily. It makes lines that are very consistent in width. There really isn't change in the thickness of the line. You can also use this pen with other paint like gouache or acrylic or any kind of ink. But if you're using a paint, you have to make sure that you dilute it so that it's a fluid consistency. This pen will only work with, with a very fluid paint or inks. So you'll have to mix up some paint yourself and test the consistency to figure out what works best. Okay, so now I want to switch the paint that I'm using inside this pen, so I'm going to show you how to clean it. It's best to clean the pen while the paint is still wet, um, but if you have dried paint in there, you're really going to have to work harder to get it all cleaned out. I usually just kind of rinse it in water, let any extra paint flow out. With watercolor, you can really just rinse it in water tap out any extra and let it dry or fill it with something else. If you let paint dry in there, which it is best not to do, um, you can use hot soapy water, you can soak it, you can use a brush to help scrub it. It's a really tiny reservoir there, so it's tricky to get in there and clean it. You can use the tiny cleaning tool to get in there and clean inside that tiny tip if you need to. Something also that I saw someone else do is they used the cap of the pen and put it over the top of the well 
and then used it like suction to force the water out the tip. So that's something else you could try if your pen's getting clogged. So I have here some metallic watercolors and I'm going to show you how you can fill this pen with paint that you mix up and then put in with a brush. So this is not quite as easy as just dropping something in with a dropper, but you can definitely use it this way too and fill it with all kinds of fun paints. So when mixing up paint to fill it with, you want it to be fluid enough for it to flow well. So consistency like heavy cream or milk usually works. So I'm just adding enough water to mix this paint up to a nice fluid consistency. I'm going to load my brush and then scrape the sides along this reservoir along the edges of it so that the paint drops into that little well. So now I'm going to test it and just see if it's flowing well. So first water came out and then here comes the paint. This is just black cardstock. And there we go, the paint's flowing well, so I can start doodling. I like to use this pen for lettering, but you can definitely use it for drawing, for doodling. You could use it to add details over paintings, like you could add gold watercolor details over a painting, that would look really cool. And these pens, when you fill the reservoir, they can write for quite a while before they run out. And again, try to work fast enough so that the paint or ink doesn't dry inside the well. But if it does, you can clean it in between refills. So you really can put just about anything in them as long as it's fluid enough for it to flow through the tip. I'm going to fill this with another color now, and I'm not even going to clean it out between colors. I'm just going to put it right in there. I need to get it flowing again. Starting with blue, and then there's the orange. That was an abrupt change. This pen can be really satisfying to use. It's really smooth. And you can see that this time, since I mixed up my own consistency of paint, it's a little bit thicker than the liquid watercolor was, so it's not puddling up as bad. So if you're trying to write and it's puddling up really bad, try making a slightly thicker mix and that should help with that. So I'm going to clean out this paint now. There's still paint left on the side here. So in this case, it would be better to take it to a sink and wash it under running water. Maybe use a toothbrush to scrub away paint. You could also use a paintbrush. It would have to be a paintbrush that you didn't care much about because it will damage the bristles of your brush. But a paintbrush with long bristles can get down in there pretty well. So tap out any extra water, let that sit and dry. And once it's dry, I usually just put the cap on, store it with my pens. So when you use a lot of paint with this pen, it kind of puddles up a little bit and dries with this raised up effect, which I think is pretty cool. So there's how you use a fluid writer. Go read the blog post linked down below if you want to read more details, more ideas of how to use this, and have fun with it.